Happy Sunday, everybody! There's that Mickey hand with one finger pointing. What? Disney Springs. It's a great caravan full of people packed in to go to Disney Springs. Springs parking or Springs parking? They may want to do something about cutting those weeds off of this thing. Okay, so two very exciting things happened today. I picked up my Soda Palooza cup from Racetrack and Disney Springs opened up their shopping empire. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a mini mall. It's just like, it's just like a mini mall. I just hope Foot Locker's not that busy. Check out this funky shopping music. It makes me feel like spending five times the amount that I normally would on some clothing. The town center is opening May 15th. That's today! But alas, the Coca-Cola store is not open and that's really the only thing that I wanted to see in this town center. And Disney's put their infamous mobile bushes out to block anybody from walking that way. Hi, security guard. That balloon is getting crazy faded. Time for a paint job. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's a brand new entranceway next to this dilapidated Planet Hollywood globe thingy. But I heard like the blogging elite is here today. Maybe we can meet some of our favorite bloggers. bathroom oh my goodness it looks amazing do you think that they use some of the Disney Springs water in that bathroom the photo pass guy outside of the entrance to Disney Springs we got to do it all right we are heading into the mini mall Tommy Bahamas here I can't really afford any of their shirts but I do love their shirts um, Sugarboo and company not quite open yet Columbia um, you know, in case you don't want to go to like Bass Pro Shop. Johnston and Murphy, of course. Lucky Brand Jeans. Um, yep. Everything but water. Kind of ironic since this is at Disney Springs. Vera Bradley? Sperry? I could have waited a week and come over here to get my Jaws shoes. Uh, Sperry's giving out like free water and goldfish crackers. Actually, the ironic thing is that that Sperry store did not have the Jaws shoes, so it's a good thing I didn't wait. American Threads? Ugh. Perfect shoes for Florida. The really fuzzy looking ones. I literally feel like I'm at the outlet stores over on I Drive. Johnny was. He was what? Fuzzy? The Vlogosphere is taking excellent audio with an external mic and everything of Zara. I guess I'm missing something here. Vince Camuto. Hmm. Impressive. I don't really know what that is, but I like the name. Apparently this is like the Disney Spring. So you move this to turn it on. Seems legit, people. Seems legit. Everyone is here filming this guy while he turns the handle. Look at this. That's what's happening. At Disney, people will literally line up to do anything. This is proof. Gotta do it. Disney Springs, the source of inspiration. Yeah, I'm inspired. But not inspired enough to make this a uh, very good paint job or a dent. That guy in the blue just said it. This is an outlet center now. Oh, that's the vibe that they were going for when they were inspired. Super dry is coming soon. Also ironic because his hair is kind of wet. Not very dry. Well, holy moly, Under Armour has a store here. It's almost as good as Foot Locker. Their shoes are always too narrow for my feet, though. Oh, we got stickers? I'll take a sticker. Stickers for free. Look at the size of this thing. That guy is gigantic. It feels so smooth. I do like the Under Armour with the Orlando uh, logo on it. That's cool. This headless guy is going to do a good drive, kind of like Tiger Woods when he lost his head. Um, it's about the same physique as me. 
Oh, this way to the Lime Garage. I didn't have to park in Orange. I guess I could have parked over here. Womp womp. Wait a second, World of Disney's over here. Was this the whole thing? It's literally just like 30 stores? Ah, Volcom. You know, the brand that I can get at Ranjan. Ah, the poutine place is open. I do like poutine. I like saying it, poutine. Say it along, at home, on a count of three. One, two, three. Poutine. Didn't that feel refreshing? Ah, more importantly, these little like shops are open now. So BB Wolf's, Big Bad Wolf Sausage Company. I think I'm gonna get online and eat some pigs. This is their menu. Three little pigs. That's so crazy. Wait, the band is here. We have to go back. So the Big Bad Wolf is open, but a resto crepes still closed. Intermission. God, I just found this hidden Mickey. Literally no one has probably found this before. My silhouettes, an Earl of Sandwich, it's all mine. It's pretty hot out, not gonna lie. The band's starting. This statue makes it all worthwhile. It's as if that bird up top is telling a story to the other birds. Why? I remember when it used to be New Year's Eve every night in this very location. Oh. Nice. And we're back to Walls. Oh, this place is gonna be called the Edison, coming all the way next year. And there it is. There's some concept art of the Edison. Power and light, so you can feel like you're in New York City. All you need is the con, but you are kind of on Disney property anyway. All right, we gotta walk on this side now. Check out the other side of Disney Springs. We got Wetzel's pretzels, haagen hand rolls, and slushes. That ye sake. It's literally sake slushes. Going over this like little bridge thing. So maybe we kind of did this backwards by going to the other thing first. This is more attractive looking than going through the other way. Minus the construction stuff. Oh, it's an alternative hat store. Look out. Oh, it's Chapel Hats again. So Chapel Hats has like a kiosk and a store here. Uh, who needs Foot Locker or Sports Authority when you have game day gear? Literally t-shirts with sports stuff and jerseys. One more place that's coming this summer. And this is the Florida Kitchen Homecoming Southern Shrine. There's Morimoto. We'll go back over this other bridge so we can get back to the other springs area. The water does look pretty. And on this side we have Sprinkles, the cupcake shop. I got a line to get a cupcake. Literally, it's like 90 degrees outside. There's like 50 people in line to get a cupcake. What the heck? And by the way, this place does have a cupcake ATM for when you're closed or when you don't want to wait online. You can totally buy a cupcake through your ATM machine. So we have an Edward Biner. Eyewear na hoku. Hawaii's finest jewelry. Another bathroom. And the trophy room coming soon. Welcome to the family. It looks like it's opening May 23rd. So, yep. There it goes. Just back over by Sprinkles for a second. I mean, because I was thinking literally that Disney Photo Pass photographer should be here taking pictures of people so they can remember about the day that they waited like an hour for a cupcake. I think this is like the picture to get. This might be the thumbnail for today's video. Kipling, Francesca's, Alex and Annie. All kidding aside, I know a lot of Disney fans are gonna be happy with this store because of their tie-in with Disney Parks. And just a quick peek inside, it looks like they're doing pretty good business here today at least. And here's a store named after my cousin. 
Yeah, this is like the Disney Springs welcome area. That's a shack. And that's another shack. Here's some concept art at Disney Springs. Huh? Maybe not concept art, maybe just like theming ideology. Oh yeah, this place is open now too. Deluxe Burger. Look at that. What an incredible line for somebody to get a hamburger here. Blogging elite. Let's take a look at how long this line is that people are waiting on for a freaking hamburger. After this, you can get a line for a cupcake and pretty much spend your entire day. Oh, more bathrooms. Sammy Hagar. Oh, this place is going to be a pizza place. Blaze Pizza. Build your own in 180 seconds. By God, I thought about getting on characters in flight. Look at how many people are waiting. I think it's another skip for today. This thing goes up every few minutes. It only holds like maybe 10 people at a time, I think. Eh, more like a polite sparring session. Uh, we're heading out of Disney Springs. I'm really kind of disappointed that Coke wasn't open today. I didn't see anywhere that it was going to be open, but I just figured it would be with the rest of this stuff. Kind of disappointing because it's like the crown jewel of the Springs area. Well, that about does it for our tour of Disney Springs. New marketplace area, I think it's the marketplace mini mall. It's just like, it's just like a mini mall. I get the bar restaurant piece of it, all of the stores. Not really sure what the deal is. Other than it's another way for Disney to make some extra money on you. So, there you go. Uh, traffic outside of Disney Springs. So, we're heading out of Disney Springs. And on that note, Thank you for all of your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. See things for what they are, Mini Mall. See you guys. Take care. By the way, if I needed to pick the best experience so far today between Soda Palooza and Disney Springs, Soda Palooza, hands down. Also, Uts. Sunday, everybody. Yeah. Hey, Nikki. Hey, it's just like uh -huh. it's just like. Oh.